What's up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to another exciting edition of Rob Kimmins' vlog. I am Rob Kimmins. This is JT, the Dancing Bear. We're here to bring you pleasure. So, what are we going to please everyone with today? Surprise you know what? me. You know what? Let's do why you love jujitsu. Mm, that's good. Why do I love jujitsu? Let me count the ways. One. I like being able to twist people up in little pretzels and make them give up. Um, I also like jiu-jitsu for the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm a bigger guy, but when I wasn't a bigger guy, when I was like 150 pounds, you know, 155 pounds, I liked jiu-jitsu because I could go with a 300-pound man and I could still choke that guy out. I could make him give up and manipulate his body. Jiu-jitsu is one of the only, you know, uh, combat sports out there like that because you know, in real life, if I'm a if I'm a 150 pound, you know, professional boxer, I can still you know beat up a 300 pound guy that don't know what he's doing. Yeah. But if both guys are, you know, average, that that the smaller guy's got no chance. That's just honesty. You know, that's just the truth. And it's also the same with you know, like a woman and a man. The woman ain't gonna have much of a chance if they're both average boxers. And they're trying to box each other, you know, if it's a woman and then a bigger, stronger man. Jiu-Jitsu is not like that. Jiu-Jitsu, size doesn't matter as much because, you know, you're choking off people's airway. You know what I mean? So a small person can just put that little bit of force on to close off your airway. The big guy's going to go to sleep, you know? Another thing is I, I really like Jiu-Jitsu because it reminds me of video games, you know? Uh, I've always been a big video game playing guy. And, uh, you know, one thing about video games is... Um, you know, these small little, these small little movements, you know, change the, the whole direction of the game in a, in a big way. Just like, you know, your, your little grips and stuff, uh, you, you know, a little bit of a variation changes the move in a, in a completely, you know, huge way. As well as, you know, like I'm a big RPG guy, you know, like I play these Japanese RPGs that are really difficult, they're like hardest games. And when you first start it, it's so hard that you have no chance. You just keep dying. You're like, man, I'm never going to be able to beat this. But when you stick with it, you start leveling up. You get better, you get better. And the next thing you know, you've, you've made this major accomplishment beating this game that in the beginning seemed unbeatable. And that's how jiu-jitsu is. At first, when you come in, everything's so complicated. The move seems so foreign. You don't know how to do it. But you, you start leveling up. You start figuring things out. You start figuring out the rules of jiu-jitsu, not just the moves. And pretty soon, the people that were slaughtering you, yeah. you're competing with. And then, after a little bit more time, you're beating those guys. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and you even level up with belts, you know what I mean? Yeah. And ranks. Yeah. Well, and you get to constantly test yourself against other people that, you know, they might miss two weeks. And you think, oh, they're out two weeks. This is two weeks extra. I'm, I'm getting extra training and... You know, uh, I might be able to get up on them and finding your own game too. You know what you like to do. It's a good point. It's you know? a good point. You know, another thing about jujitsu is jujitsu has so many different um, ways that you can incorporate it. Like so many different uses, I should say. If you are on the street and you, you know, somebody tries to jump on you, jujitsu comes in handy. You know what I mean? If you otherwise you just want to do some competition, do some sports. You can get into a, a mm -hmm. jiu-jitsu competition. It's fun, man. Um, and also, if you decide to be a cage fighter, you better know jiu-jitsu. Yeah. You know? so yeah. Those are just some of the reasons I like jiu-jitsu. Um, I, I do have some big news. I, I actually, you know, I've, I've been, uh, my whole life I've been under Steve Crawford of American Jiu-Jitsu. And, and now I'm, I'm, I'm also... Uh, I've started the path in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Just I was just testing out the waters for a while, but now we're about to dive right on into that. That's awesome. So, uh, so yeah, keep posted on that. We got some really big announcements soon that will I'll, I will announce. But I'll just leave you with really, really soon. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu career. Start trying to focus on that. You know, now that I'm not fighting, I'm gonna try to. I really one day want to win the world's yeah. uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Well, so we'll, we'll see. Well, and you see guys in their in their 50s doing Jiu-Jitsu, in their 60s doing Jiu-Jitsu. Exactly. So it's something you can have a longevity in, too. Well, exactly, because the, the big difference between this and 
fighting is, I, you know, there's no getting punched in the face in jiu-jitsu. And, you know, I don't want to get, I don't want to talk silly, you know, any more silly than I already do. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right, signing off, uh, this is Rob Kimmins, JT. Check us out on Facebook. Um, I'm at Rob Kimmins on Twitter, Facebook, PerseveranceMMA.com. Like and share uh, email. Uh, Rosedale Reaper at gmail.com. Good deal. Have a good one, guys. Exactly.